happy day students let's see the another question here from the top of the building 16 meters high water drops are falling at equal intervals of time such that when first drop reaches the ground fifth drop just starts find the distance between the successive drops at that instant so let's consider here is a building here is a building okay so from here let's consider the, how much height they have given it is 16 meters 16 meters high it was so from here let's consider here is on water pipe is there from that pipe water drops are coming from now so from that water drops are coming from there to here continuously it's coming so while coming let's consider this second drop next and next and finally fifth drop so this is the first drop this is the second drop third drop fourth and as well as fifth drop five drops are reached okay so what they told when the first drop reaches the ground fifth drop just starts this is the one first drop reaches the ground fifth drop about to start so find the distance between the successive drops they asked between these distances between first drop to second drop between second to third third to fourth and fourth to fifth drop distance they asked so when first drop reaches the ground here 16 meters high or falling at equal intervals of time that means here time and here time and here time and here time all the times are remains same okay so first what happened objects are falling when it is about fall what is the initial velocity it is a zero right clear so when initial velocity is zero acceleration is g but time is changing how, how it is changing with respect to the distances equal time intervals so according to the formula s equal to ut plus half it is square from this h equal to ut plus half gt square so h is how much distance 16 meters total height initial velocity 0 so half g t square t is how much from there to here total time taken 1 2 3 4 4 time intervals now here time here time and here time and here time so total time is t plus t plus t plus t it is a 4 t whole square right so 16 equal to half g 16 t square so here 16 and 16 gets cancelled then what is the remaining 1 equal to half g t square okay got it so when it is this is the value of half g t square value so now we'll see it will move from from there to here first drop it's about to travel how much distance h1 let's consider from there to first drop the distance is h1 from there to second drop height is h2 from there to third drop it is h3 from there to it's a fourth drop it's a h4 is the distances and it's a h5 distance okay so if i let's find for h1 h1 already we know that how much it is 16 meters then for h2 h2 equal to same here is also initial velocity is zero so ut plus half gt square half g what is the time taken for second drop for second drop here time and here time and here time t plus t plus t 3t whole square so h2 equal to half g 9t square okay clear h equal to half g t square okay now it is h2 equal to 9 half g t square so already we got that half g t square value is how much 1 so h2 equal to 9 meters 
h2 equal to 9 meters. So they asked difference all you know this is h1 minus h2 only this difference right. So h1 minus h2 equal to 9 meters right got it. So can you try to find h2 and h3 difference. So what will be the h3 h3 equal to again half g how much time from h3 1 and 2 so it is a 2t whole square so h3 equal to half g of 4t square right, huh? right so h3 equal to 4 half g t square half g t square value is 1 so h3 equal to 1 is it clear h3 equal to 4 meters then what about h5 sorry it's a h3 row h4 h4 equal to initial velocity is 0 then half g time is for h4 only t right got it so h4 is how much half g t square means it is 1 right ah? clear so h1 we got h1 is 16 h2 is 9 h3 is 4 and h4 is 1 then what about h5 it is at just starts that means its velocity is its height is 0 ok is it clear see now so we have a value of h1 is 16 h2 is 9 meters and h3 is 4 meters and h5 sorry h4 is 1 meter and sorry h4 is 1 meter and h5 is 0 ok see we want only the difference no so h1 minus h2 equal to 16 minus 9 so h2 minus h3 equal to 9 minus 3 h3 minus h4 equal to 9 minus it's 4 right it's 9 minus 4 and it's a 4 minus 1 and h4 minus h5 equal to 1 minus 0 okay so 16 minus 9 7 9 minus 4 5 4 minus 1 3 1 minus 0 1 so can you tell me what is the ratio so let's consider this is height h1 h2 or h3 and h4 drops so just final consideration so h1 is 2 or let's consider instead of h1 you can take it's an s1 s2 s3 s4 s1 s2 s3 s4 okay so s1 is 2 s2 is 2 s3 is 2 s4 right there is a four distance only right check here is the four distance or not one two three four okay four distances we have so one is two three is two five is two seven okay so this will be called as fourth last distance so it's s4 s3 s2 and it's an s1 okay so this is the final ratio of the distances when an objects are falling from some height but the distance the times are taken equal okay clear right subscribe my channel thank you